Prices continue to climb. Today they jumped another 13 cents. That is up nearly 30 cents from just this weekend. Governor Brian Kemp just addressed the crisis today and what he's doing to bring in more fuel. CBS 46's Zach Summers is live in Atlanta for us. Zach? Yeah, Tracy, we're not too far from the state capitol where the governor held that press conference. We're at the BP here where there are a number of uh, fuel pumps that are shut down or there are notices on the fuel pumps telling customers that they are limited to just $35. Governor Kim says the state is taking every action possible to ensure fuel keeps coming into the state, and he's urging Georgians to stop hoarding and instead remain calm. As you heard Tory say, the EPA approved the state's request to sell a winter blend mix of fuel that's usually reserved for later in the year. The governor also increased the weight that trucks can carry on highways and extended offers to escort tanker trucks into communities needing fuel. Kemp says the information they received from the White House indicates that this is a short-term problem. At the same time, the governor says they haven't been receiving frequent updates from Colonial Pipelines as they'd like. We just can't control uh, what's happening with the pipeline or the company. The federal government and Homeland Security is taking the lead on that. We just don't have a lot of information, quite honestly. I wish we had more. It's a little bit frustrating for me. Governor Kim says right now there have been no pleas from schools, police departments, or public transportation needing assistance. He says that right now they are in good shape. The governor asking everyday Georgians to just be thoughtful, fill up on what you need, uh, and, and pack your patience. Live in Atlanta, Zach Summers, CBS 46 News. Zach, thank you very much.